Hello, I'm Sensei Alex Kokuyo, North American contributor for Buddhist Door Global. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's Dharma talk is Moon Nature, Buddha Nature. Before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. Recently, I heard a noise out in the yard in the middle of the night. I thought there might be something going on with our animals, so I went out to investigate. Thankfully, there were no problems that I could see. Everyone was safe and sound inside of their shelters. However, I was shocked by how well I could see even though it was the middle of the night. I'd brought my flashlight with me just in case, but I didn't need to use it. The reason is that there was a full moon, and the moon had illuminated the night so brightly that I could almost see as well as if it were daytime. So while there was a little bit of a scare, it was a fun reminder of just how good the moon can be, how helpful and useful it is when we're trying to make our way in the darkness. As Buddhists, we believe that each of us, all people have a moon within us as well, known as our Buddha nature. This is the seed of enlightenment that if we nourish it through the traditional practices of chanting, bowing, meditation, and sutra studying, it can bloom into a fully enlightened nature turning us into Buddhas. Now, what's important to note is that even if we have not engaged in the formal traditional practices, or maybe we haven't been doing them very long, we still have the seed of enlightenment. We still have the full moon inside of us. And it can illuminate our lives and our darkest moments in those times where we might feel sad or hopeless or scared in the moments when the world might cause us to question our own self-worth as human beings. We can remind ourselves that we have the moon. We have the seed of enlightenment inside of us. We are Buddhas in training. And as such, we have an inherent self-worth that cannot be tarnished any more than the moon can be tarnished by the darkest night. So just like we may look at the celestial Buddhas to help us find our way in the physical darkness of our daily lives, we can look at the Buddha, the moon within us, the seed of our enlightenment, also known as Buddha nature, to help illuminate our way during times of spiritual darkness. Amitabha.